a man's labor also is a commodity exchangeable for benefit as well as any other thing. Thomas Hobbes, Leviathan. Hi everyone, welcome back. Now we have another symbolic misunderstanding. Sancho says he is willing to discount the value of the promised island from his salary on a prorated basis. I'm not so ungrateful that I don't want the rent from the isle to be totaled and deducted pro rat from my salary. Sancho wants to say prorated, and Don Quixote corrects him with a joke. Sometimes a rat is as good as a cat. There is another layer of irony here. The word gata or cat implies larceny or theft. Don Quixote has said it is sometimes better to be a thief than a miser. Careful readers will hear a reference to Sancho's theft of Cardenio's 100 escudos in part one. Don Quixote rejects Sancho's request. At a comedic level, he does so because he cannot think of any squires who ever got salaries in the books of chivalry. I do not recall having read that any knight errant ever specified a fixed salary for his squire. The novel takes another modern turn when he adds that the labor market is competitive. If you don't wish to accompany me as my vassal and assume the same risks that I do, then go with God and may he turn you into a saint, for I will not lack squires more obedient, more considerate, and less crass and talkative than yourself. Did you know the great English philosopher Thomas Hobbes asserted that manual labor, like any other commodity, has a value determined by the marketplace, that is, by the law of supply and demand. And Thomas Hobbes was a very serious reader of Don Quixote de la Mancha. At this, Sancho's heart drops, his sky filled with clouds, and the wings fell from his heart. To make matters worse, now Carrasco arrives, and after praising Don Quixote, O oh, honor and mirror of the Spanish nation, and proclaiming his hope that Don Quixote go on another adventure, and that his enemies never trap him in the labyrinth of their desires, he suddenly offers his own services. And if anything is needed to bring this about, here am I to supply it with my person and my treasure. And if it is necessary for me to serve your magnificence as squire, I will consider it a blessed stroke of good fortune. This is all very funny, but it is also serious economic theory in action. It is the kind of natural philosophy that the late scholastic theologians of the School of Salamanca applied to their analyses of market relations. Labor is also subject to the law of supply and demand. Cervantes lets us know this via two aspects of Don Quixote's response to Carrasco's offer. First, he repeats that the labor market is competitive. Did I not tell you, Sancho, that I would have plenty of squires from which to choose? Second, he relates Carrasco's subtle sophistication to the University of Salamanca, calling him perpetual diversion and delight of the courtyards of the schools of Salamanca. When Sansón Carrasco offers his services to Don Quixote, he offers readers an example of A. Economic theory B. Aesthetic theory C. Biological theory Correct answer A. Economic theory Sancho knows that he has now lost all leverage from which to negotiate, and so he backtracks and agrees to serve Don Quixote in the feudal manner. When he does so, he mangles some legalistic terminology, which the narrator tells us convinced Carrasco that Sancho is one of the most solemn idiots of our time. Carrasco then provides Don Quixote with a salad helmet, and Don Quixote and Sancho depart. Our heroes travel in familiar fashion, with Don Quixote on his good Rocinante and Sancho on his same old ass. But they have also made pragmatic adjustments. They take food, and Don Quixote provides a pool of money for future expenses. Sancho's saddlebags supplied with food and provisions, and his purse with money given to him by Don Quixote for any contingencies. Also, note that another Theugma describes their departure. Sanson made his way back to his village, and the two men made theirs toward the great city of El Toboso. That's all for now. We'll see each other in our next video. If you liked this video and want to continue learning more about the knight errant Don Quixote de la Mancha, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel here. Also, 
you can enroll in our free online course on Don Quixote by clicking here.